Morning. Um, afternoon. Yeah, Close. after afternoon, yeah. I guess. Yeah. Uh, before we get into all the stuff with Nurse, just can you clarify timelines in terms of Darnell and Slater and maybe even Mike Smith, just what you know about their timelines? Timeline for uh, Darnell is uh, two to three weeks. Uh, Cuckoo is more in the um, three to four weeks, I believe. And Mike Smith is getting some more tests done today that there's nothing really changed here. We'll see where that comes out today, but he's still week to week at best. So dealing with Darnell, or Darnell specifically here, just uh, obviously this is a, a tremendous loss for your blue line. And, um, you know, how do you make up for losing a guy that plays all three phases like that? Well, it's the cliche thing to say is not everybody, not one guy is going to take the minutes. You're going to have to spread it around a little bit. So he, uh, he takes a big chunk of the game for us, but we're going to have to have people step up and do a little more. And, uh, uh, you know, young Broberg will come in and we'll see where he's at. He's played very well down in the uh, American League. Um, you know, uh, Chris Russell is ready to come back from, uh, from a small injury. So we've got, uh, you know, people have just got to step up and, and take the extra minutes that are available. With the pairings that you do have, do you have a, a twosome that can play 26, 27 minutes if need be, or are you going to have to kind of split this down? Uh, I, think, I think you'll have to, uh, you'll see it more, more uh, balanced all the way throughout. But a lot of it will depend on, you know, some special team stuff and how much, how much special teams are in the game. You've got different players that play in certain situations. And so uh, Jimmy will, uh, there'll be some, there'll be pairs that are obviously start the game, but there'll be some tinkering in the game as it pertains to situations. The two new guys, are they both in or maybe just one? Or how are you going to work that? Uh, Lagason and Broberg you're talking about? Probably just one. If, uh, if Chris Russell's ready to play, probably one. We'll decide that in the morning. So do you, do you have a, like a full shutdown pairing? Or like if you know, you're up by one? They're all, they're all shut down people tomorrow. Got it. <laughs> Every one of them. Uh, Dave, I just, I just wonder if you could provide any clarity or update on, on what the injury is to, to Darnell and how he, he suffered it because he did play the... The crack, a broken finger. Late, late in the game, or did you... Did you Very late, yeah. overtime. Okay. And, and Derek Ryan is another one who obviously missed the last game. Yeah, he, he skated before the guys today, so he's a uh, player tomorrow, but uh, he'll be on the trip with us, I think, for sure. So you just, you just cut out, do you say he, he won't be playing tomorrow? I don't foresee him playing tomorrow okay. unless, unless things change here since I haven't talked to him since he, after he had a skate, so... Yeah. I just wonder about, about Broberg and... Kind of his progression seemed like he had a pretty solid camp and played very well in the American League. What do you think about a player like him who was a very good player for you in the bubble dating back a little while? Well, we're going to find out how his progress is here. He's, I've watched some games in the American League, and he's, he's playing in all situations. He's playing big minutes down there, and he's, uh, he's played better than he did in camp. You know, I think in camp he came over, he was okay. Uh, still getting used to the timing, the size of the rink and some stuff like that, but he's gone down there and played a ton, which has been good for him. And, uh, you know, we'll come up, we'll see what he can do. So he's 20 years old and has never played an NHL game, but do you want to throw him into the deep end or do you, do you feel like you need to kind of ease him in and see where things go? Mm, we'll see where we come up with the pairs tomorrow, but he's, if he's coming up, he's going to play. Uh, as a coach, what goes through your head when you see Connor pick up the puck at the blue line and just dangle through four players? Maybe with other players, you uh, don't. Ex uh, maybe with him, he's the exception to the rule. Uh, what goes through your head at that time? I say it with every player when they pick up. I say, go down and score. But some of them do it a little more than others. <laughs> he's happened to do it a few times lately, so you notice him. Just a, a word on Duncan Keith playing his old team tomorrow. What, what have you seen from him in the time that he's been here? And, and, you know, what does he need to improve on? What's he doing really well? And are you getting what you expected out of that player? Really, really solid veteran player, you know. And it's, he's very respectful of, of the change of situation. He's come in and he's trying to learn how we're doing things. And, uh, but he's, you know, he's a, if you watch him in the game, he's a steady, steady player. He's got a good stick. He reads situations pretty well. 
there's you know there's some things that are different for him here than there was in the past for him. So he's uh, he's working on trying to get acclimated, but he's been a solid player for us. Like you don't, we, you know, every you're always looking to little things to tweak to get better, and he's no different than a young player. So they're always trying to he's always trying to find things that he can do a little better, but. If you look at the minutes he's taken, and him and CC, that middle pair, they've been a, they've been a key factor for us in getting off to a good start here. So he's going to get a little more time now with Nursey out, and it's not something he hasn't done before. So that's uh, that's the one nice thing as a coach. You're you're not asking somebody to do something they haven't done before. He's been in that role before. All right. Thanks, guys.